Hi guys, how's it going? It's the East Banglers. Today we're gonna to talk about the American River in California. We're gonna talk about the American River that goes further up 50, starting around the Pollock Pines area, going forth all the way to the Lake Tahoe area. We're gonna talk about what areas of the river are the most productive, the least productive. We're gonna talk about some of the areas that are unsafe and some of the access points that are there. We're gonna talk about what you guys can expect to catch the next time you decide to go out or if you decide to go out um, at the American River in that region. Now we're not talking um, further down towards Sacramento or anything like that or Folsom where there's like all these different fish um, we're, we're talking about mainly just trout trout's all that's in that river and we're talking today about rainbows and browns because that's what's in there the browns are wild the bows are planted and we're going to talk to you guys today about you know what's what's uh what you know we'll, we'll talk about some of the baits you might want to throw We'll talk about some of the colors that you might want to focus in on, dial in on as far as the kind of patterns and why. So let's get started guys, the American River. And I'll tell you one thing, this is a gnarly river. First thing and foremost, be extremely careful. There are snakes. Second thing, I've, I've ran into a lot of situations where a lot of time gets wasted trying to find access points you're going to run into the same thing you're going to run into situations where you know something might get dangerous really quick and it looked relatively safe right off the bat you're going to have to turn around and it might look like oh it might look like the best fishing spot in the world but it's just not worth it guys you don't want to get hurt out there and there's nobody out there so <laughs> there's nobody helping nobody's coming here's the thing uh the American River can be really good when fly fishing, and that's certain times of the year. Generally, that's going to be like, you know, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, but early November. After that, for the most part, when I'm fishing creeks or rivers but especially the american river i start focusing in on hair jigs and black and pink are some of my go-to colors and black flies are also one of my favorite flies to throw but you know it's hard to beat olive it's hard to beat you know a brown a tan something along those lines it's it's hard to beat those another color that's extremely effective and this color shines from um, well, early May, maybe even the end of April, all the way to the end of October is the dragonfly. That's going to be black and blue. That pattern itself is just really killer. So, um, you know, I think there's a rooster tail or something. I can't remember. It might be a Vibrax small inline spinner. And that's really effective there as well as like we said flies and we like to use some hair jigs but essentially guys this is a tough tough little river and they don't plan it very much a lot of the planters they die so it's uh very much slim pickings if you're going out there you know maybe you're expecting action left and right you know this is the wrong place for you let's say you're taking your kids out and you want to get them on a bunch of fish and have a blast this is not for you let's uh there's just a lot of situations in where the american river just might not be for you but let's talk about some access points where you can get into the american river one of those is going to be ice house road right there when you take the turn off there are places on the left and on the right and along the road. And if you follow the road, there's a lot of places to park as well. These are really good areas to pull over and get down to the, to the, um, to water. Now, 
you're not allowed to fish the certain areas because they're private. Um, so generally, if you cross the street from that turnoff, you can't fish on that side. You can only fish on the side before. So it's, uh, it's really interesting. Kybers, very good, very good part of the American River. All that up there is extremely good. As soon as you hit the Kybers area, especially in the summer, these fish, they're at high elevation. They want cold water, especially if it's really hot. They're gonna be up there and the fishing up there is always better than the fishing below for for just many reasons, but in general, that's an all year round. Uh, that's kind of all year round. So typically don't expect to get any browns bigger than four or five pounds out of the American River. I think the biggest browns even back in the days when the American was much healthier, you know, I would think an eight pound brown was probably the biggest anybody ever really pulled out of there. It's possible somebody got something bigger, but um, eight pounds is something I heard a long time ago from somebody way back when, but um, I've heard of a four pounder, but that's it and that's rare. So guys, if you're going out there for rainbows, don't expect giants two pounds and under, very feisty very very feisty and generally they taste pretty good because they're feeding on a lot of natural things and it's a pretty a uh, pretty place to go and a pretty place to get away from all the people and you know just get that I don't know if you guys you guys know how it is when you're at the creek when you're at the river and uh, the American River is a bit raunchy and raw and in that case I mean the rocks and stuff are just I mean, everything, when you go to certain places, you know, like certain rivers that are extremely difficult to access, you know, this is uh, one of those rivers. And I, I feel like the only way you're gonna get ahead is by playing it safe. And unfortunately, that means that you're only gonna have a few access points you're gonna get to. Another one is going to be the access point over by the falls. So there is a area over, it's a small little, it's right before the exit on Ice House Road on your left hand side, there's some falls that are coming down on your right and to your left on 50, you will see on the opposite side, it's like a park and you can drive down in there. I think it's $5 or $8 to access it. I can't remember how much, um, but that, that particular area, you know, that's a fishing hole, that's a swimming hole. And it's pretty popular. Unfortunately, this is, well, unfortunately, I guess all the easily safe accessible areas would be popular. Um, and like we said, Kybers has a couple areas, places around there. And other than that, you guys are really in for a hard, 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 um, you know, you're in for it. It's not gonna be easy and it's not gonna be safe. So, I mean, it's hard for me to recommend something that's not gonna be safe for you guys. But uh, the American River can be a lot of fun, especially right after they plant rainbow trout. You know, it's like, bam, bam, getting on them left and right. And then, you know, there's nothing of major size, but the real goal is to get those wild browns. That's the trophy here, guys. Getting a wild brown, bringing it in, having a blast, looking at those colors, you know, getting the, I mean, having that experience and then letting it go. That's, that's what it's all about. So please release the browns. Please, please catch and release when it comes to the browns. Keep as many bows as you want. Thanks for watching, guys. This is the American River in California. Everything you need to know when you go trout fishing there. And more or less, everything you need to know in general when you go to the American River.